Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Universal Studios Hollywood construction update. We are going to look at Halloween Horror Night stuff, stuff in the lower lot, stuff in the upper lot, Super Nintendo World, and so much more. Let's start with what's right below me here from the Curious George parking structure. So when I was here for our last update, I did speak too soon. This is not the Halloween Horror Nights tent from last year. This is the Halloween Horror Nights tent for this year. That's right, they have started not only to build, but they have roughed out the entire floor plan for this year's house. That's really cool that they've started to build so early. Right next to the Horror Nights house, we still do have, oh, the electric studio tram. That's pretty cool. And we have the Grinchmas supports and tree branches, which have not moved since last time we were here. Now let's look over here at the sound stages, which don't seem to have much activity going on right now. We are filming this towards the end of the workday on Friday, so I wouldn't expect too much to be going on. Plus, most of the activity is probably going on inside of the sound stages. Now from the top of Curious George Park structure, we're gonna walk all the way down City Walk into Universal Studios Hollywood. No update here on the Twosome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen, but looking over here, we now have three new movies on this side, Bad Guys, Batman, and Morbius, a brand new wrap for the Universal Cinema, and looking over here, another poster for Batman and one for Ambulance and the Lost City. NBC Sports Grill Brew looks popping. Looks like there's something called Sharp here. I'm sometimes worried coming here on Saturdays because you do see crowds like this, but I am happy that they do seem to be leaving the park area. It does look like all of the Lunar New Year merch is gone and replaced by this stand, which is we belong to a universal family using sustainable materials. Very neat. Heading into Universal Studios Hollywood, there is actually a little bit of a line, which is strange coming in at around 4 p.m. At 3.53 p.m., Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journeys in 80 minute wait, Flight of the Hypocrite 45, Ollivander 25, Studio Tour 85, Secret Life Bets 100 minutes only, standby, not virtual. Despicable Me is 55, Kung Fu Panda is 20, Jurassic World is 110, Transformers is 100, Revenge of the Mummy is two hours. So I just went to go see Guy Diamond because I wanted to get a video of him farting glitter. I don't know if you've seen the videos of him doing that, but it's hysterical. And he danced and he shook everything, but he does not do that anymore. According to a cast member, it's just a little bit too messy. They're not doing that anymore. Over here at Secret Life Pets Off The Leash, if you wanted to see what a 100 minute wait time looks like, this is what it looks like. Next to Super Silly Funland, we are going to go to one of my favorite places to view, Super Nintendo World, the former smoking section. Now we will get another view of this as we head to the lower lot, but here we can see some of the scaffolding on the south side of the land, as well as what appears to be an entrance to either a store or a interactive area or a restaurant on the lower level. Let me know what you think that is in the comments. I'm not quite sure. And it looks like a lot of scaffolding work is being done right near the warp pipe entrance inside of the land on what is likely going to be Peach's Castle. At least that's what it is in the Japan version of Super Nintendo World. Now, I don't know if I've ever shown where we are in the smoking section from the smoking section. So uh, right over here is the back of Super Silly Funland and the top of the Frankenstein parking garage. We have the Parisian streets behind us. Over there is the animal actors and then the stunt stage. And then you can kind of see looking through Simpsons the Ride as well as the Starway, Jurassic World and everything on the lower lot. And as I say, every single time I leave the former smoking section, don't smoke, it kills you. Outside of the Front Street Bistro, the popcorn cart finally has stanchions outside of it. This is the first time I've ever seen an organized line outside of the popcorn cart. But of course it goes well, well, well beyond the stanchions because everyone loves popcorn at a theme park. So I just got to meet Taki heading into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to go on some rides, maybe definitely get some butterbeer. And then we're going to go check on construction in the lower lot. So for butterbeer, the line outside was too long. Hog's head line was too long. So I'm here at three broomsticks where there is literally no one in line. I'm just gonna hop over this platter here and walk right in. And what's great about coming into the three broomsticks is that they have hot butterbeer and cold butterbeer. Nothing beats having frozen butterbeer with a view of Hogwarts Castle. 
So I haven't been on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey in at least a couple months. It's currently a 75 minute wait. And last time I made the mistake of trying Single Rider, but the line was just so long. Now let's just check out Single Rider and see if it's that long. Right now, this is where it was backed up to last time. So I guess Single Rider sometimes is a really long wait and sometimes there are three people in line. That was so fun. I really enjoyed Forbidden Journey. It's good getting to do it again. Uh, there was one effect that wasn't working, which was Hermione in the very beginning. She wasn't visible, so it's just a blank screen. But other than that, everything was working great. Leaving the wizarding world, it is nice to see some of the non-evergreen trees are starting to bloom. That's where we get in the beginning of March. A small update here at the Simpsons ride is now the scrim on the left side goes all the way up to the top. Remember, they are repainting this side to look a little bit like the repainted side over here. They still have a little bit of work to go, but I can't wait to see what they do. Before we head to the lower lot to check on Super Nintendo World Construction, let's check out some wait times. At 5.10 p.m., Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey 75, Flight of the Hippogriff 45, Ollivander's 25, Studio Tour 85, Secret Life Pets 115, Despicable Me 65, Kung Fu Panda 25, Revenge of the Mummy 75, Transformers 80, Jurassic World The Ride is 110 minutes. Now let's go to the lower lot. From over here on the Star Wars, we can see the blue lights on the lower lot are on, which means they are expecting trams to go through the streets of New York. Here's another angle also on the soundstage construction. Not much to see here other than they're fully closed in. Very exciting. Looking at Super Nintendo World, it's amazing what just a week can do. Looking over at Bowser's Castle, we can see the circular frame on the entrance. That arch entrance is a lot more pronounced right now. They also appear to be doing a lot of work on that front balcony outside of Bowser's Castle. One other interesting to note in the Starway is that this space behind the mummy, which is typically reserved for Halloween Horror Nights house last year, it was Texas Chainsaw Massacre, has now been fenced off. Maybe they're getting ready to set up for this year. It's crazy that we are already talking about Halloween Horror Nights in March. It is interesting that they do have brand new billboards for all of these shows, but the mummy right over there that piece of artwork has been fading for many, many years. Hopefully, they will replace that soon. Here's a look at scaffolding from the top of the bottommost starway. Not crazy mount to see here. Looking at the way the sun is hitting that Jurassic World logo is so pretty. And I know it is a two hour wait, but it's been a couple months. Let's do Jurassic World. There is no one in the express line, so heading right on. Now here on Jurassic World, I always sit on the right side, A, because you typically get a little bit less wet, and B, because you do get a view into Super Nintendo World. Thank you. check out the warp pipe entrance the mummy is well right here you might as well just pay him a visit well it hasn't updated yet but it turns out the mummy is down so i guess we replace it with transformers that seems right right so just did transformers and i did notice one of the screens had a weird burn-in issue just as we were getting out of transformers mummy reopened heading right in looks like there's no one in line for express Okay, and suddenly it's nighttime and suddenly we're in City Walk. I don't know how that happened. Actually, I do. I saw a friend and uh, I realized I filmed all the stuff I needed to for construction, so I did a couple more rides and uh, I had a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got to see Super Nintendo World construction, construction on the lower lot, did some rides, met some characters, had a great time. Thank you so much for being a part of this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.